Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Physics. Today we are going to solve quantum mechanics from GATE 2008 paper. Today we are going to do a sum of commutators. Alright, so the question 31 in GATE 2008 paper was if H is the Hamiltonian for a free particle with mass n, the commutator, the commutator is bracket x comma bracket x comma h close bracket close bracket is you know the first instinct for many students is to go for answer c which is wrong which is which is not correct so what we are going to do is we are going to solve this and let's see how so we have this commutator which is given to us which is x comma x comma h so what we are going to do is we are going to use two laws over here okay we are going to use two laws over here one is a b the commutator law is equal to a b minus b a all right that law we are going to use okay so this will go over here this is our whole A and this is our whole B. So A will first go over here and then A will go at the end. Okay. So if we substitute it that way, we are going to get X bracket R B minus B bracket R A. Alright. Now you all should know the value of H. Okay. Let me write it over here. The value of H is nothing but P square upon 2M. Alright, so we are going to substitute this value p square upon 2m and this is what we get. x will remain as it is. Alright, bracket x as it is instead of h we are writing p square upon 2m bracket close minus x instead of h we are writing p square upon 2m close bracket x now as you all can see this 2 is constant and even m is constant mass is constant mass cannot change unless and until we are traveling at the speed of light so we are going to take this 2m outside of the bracket so what do we get is this 2m will come out we'll get x divided by 2m bracket x comma p square bracket close minus now this 2m it is very important to take it outside this bracket okay over here 1 upon 2m bracket x comma p square close bracket x you cannot take this 2m and divide it upon okay x upon 2m you cannot do that if you do that your whole sum will go wrong it's against the commutators law all right now the next step that we are going to do is this p square we are going to take the derivative of p square we are going to use the formula derivative of x raised to n which gives us n x raised to n minus 1 x upon 2m we are going to take the derivative of p square the derivative of p square is 2p okay then we get our bracket x comma p this p square will become 2p and instead of p square we are going to get p minus 1 upon 2m again we are taking the derivative of 2 uh, of p square and we are getting 2p bracket x comma p your x should be there i have not okay your x should be there okay. your x will be there so do not forget about it all right so this is what we get 2 and 2 will get cancelled from here and this 2 and this 2 will also get cancelled so what remains is x upon m into p okay xp upon m bracket x comma p minus here we have p upon m xp bracket into x okay now what we are going to do is instead of xp we are going to substitute i h bar okay this h bar is planck's constant or h cut whatever you want to call it you can call it so wherever i have x comma p this okay i'm going to write I comma H cut. All right. So that's what I have done over here. Okay. XP divided by M 
instead of the bracket xp i'm going to write ih minus p upon m i h cut into x okay all right now the next step is as you can see i h is common okay i h and m is common this term i h i h cut sorry i h cut and m is common so what we are going to do is we are going to take it out we are going to take it as common and the remaining stuff we are going to write it, write it in bracket so i will get i h cut upon m x p minus p x now this stuff is nothing but your bracket x comma p when you use the reverse of bracket a, a bracket a comma b is nothing but a b minus b f so we are going to use that and that's how we get x p now again we know that this value is nothing but what is this value this value is i h cut okay so we are going to substitute that so i will get i h cut upon m instead of this i'm going to write i h cut now i square okay now when i take the square of i i'm going to get minus 1 okay minus 1 we all know that so that's why i have minus h cut square upon m so this is my final answer so the correct answer is option b okay your option b is your correct answer thank you so much for watching this please like share and comment Thank you for coming to Physics Physics. Thank you.